What's up everybody? I hope you have a marvelous day. Please leave like, hit that subscribe button and let's begin. The video of today is all about my portfolio again. Like we all know, in the last month we had a huge downwards trend and of course I lost some value in my money. First things first, to be fully honest, I lost around I think 3000 to 4000 euros. I mean, it's like not real because I did not sold anything, uh, did not change anything about my portfolio. I just bought some specific stocks and I'm going to discuss them and also say why I would bought these ones. Uh, let's begin with some uh, dividends that are in this upcoming month. Uh, we have Realty Income again with a nice two bucks. Then we have PepsiCo, of course, and Waste Management. Like you can see, it adds up over time. Uh, my total value of my portfolio is now sitting at 10,600 euros. That is, I think, around 11,000, maybe 11,500 dollars. Um, my total profit is 600. Uh, I have a screenshot uh, of uh, it that I have right around 4,000. I will see if I can edit in it. So I lost 3,500, but I added a lot of money in my account recently. Okay, let's take a look to my first position. Oh, oh. Walt Disney. Okay, we're just gonna drop into the numbers. I have an average buying price of one hundred and twenty dollars. That is pretty a lot in my opinion. But I do not have a glass ball. If we take a look to the chart and we take a look to the six months, we can see it was kind of steady. Then it dropped a bit here, and then I bought already. And then we had the downward trend of the stock market, and I bought more over time. All right, let's see if I can fix this. So no spoilers, mm, many spoilers already, but it's okay. Okay, so Disney. In my last video, I think I had around uh, four or five shares. So I doubled my position in Disney. Uh, my average buying price was much higher of 120, of course, but still I can live with it. It's now sitting at over $100. We will see what it will give me in 10 years because Disney is one of those stocks that I think will be there in 10, 20, 30 years. It's not going to go away, in my opinion, of course. The se second company I want to discuss is my spec stock of this year. And my spec stock is MongoDB. It's currently sitting at $115. And my average buying price was $130. I currently have four shares of MongoDB. That means I'm a total losing in value of around 12%. If you guys remember the last time when I did an update of my portfolio, I had not a single stock in red and now I have quite a few, but it's okay. I have time and time is the most important asset of the stock market. Let's move on. Ultra Group, again, a dividend player that I really like. Uh, to be fully honest, I did not bought a lot of it over the month. I think only like two or three shares just because I don't like uh, Altria. It needs to be like around 5%, not more of my portfolio. Um, and it pays me a nice dividend. I'm currently down almost 12%. Uh, almost, yeah, 12%. Uh, that means my average buying price was $45 and they are currently sitting at 40 All right, let's move on. Waste management. Waste management. Uh, I was thinking to buy this stock, but it has not dropped quite a lot like the other ones. So I rather bought the nicer deals. Uh, so I have the exactly the same share amount of shares of my last video, and I'm currently sitting uh, down nine percent. All right, let's go to the next company. And of this company, I bought, I think, four or five shares. Uh, Southern Company. We all know it's a big dividend player. Uh, it's a company that. A little bit good in the recession, no matter what, I think personally, because everybody needs electricity, but still I'm down 8% of it. And my average buying price is under 60, what I really like, and it's $58. The PE ratio of this company is pretty low. I think it was 13 last time I checked. So PE ratio of 13 is pretty nice. My next company is Microsoft and we have a new position, guys. Yes, like you can see, I have <laughs> I went crazy on Microsoft actually because I bought a total of eight shares and I'm currently sitting at 1,144 euros, but I'm down. My average buying price is $168 and I'm down 7%. This is a completely new position I opened from my last video. So maybe it's a surprise for you guys, but for me, it was a no brainer. I saw it falling and falling and I just bought some shares. I have eight shares and I'm glad with it.
All right, let's take a look to the next stock I want to discuss is PepsiCo. I bought one more share of PepsiCo in the last month. Uh, I have a few cash around on my account. I still have some cash on the site, but I'm still going to wait what the market will do because, again, I do not have a glass ball. So I just bought one share of PepsiCo. Maybe it will fall a little bit more. But PepsiCo, again, is no-brainer for the long term. It's a nice dividend player again. It's grown that dividend for many years. It's almost a dividend king. So again, I'm really glad with the position I bought. I'm down around 5%. That means my average buying price was $134 and a half. And they are currently sitting at $127. All right, let's move on. Realty income. Again, one of the companies I did not bought because I think they can fall a little bit more or I would like to see them to fall a little bit more if it drops like to 65 63 dollars i'm really going to buy heavily in it but we will see what the time brings realty income has still a high pe ratio it's normal for them but still i want to see it to drop a little bit more before i open uh buy a little bit more all right move on to the big boys abby abby is a uh, the smallest position of my stock portfolio um bought it a few months back, did not change anything about it. I'm just letting the dividend come in. And so that's juicy passive income. Uh, my average buying price was uh, $87. It's currently sitting at 85. That means I'm total down in two and a half percent. Remember, guys, last time I did not have one stock in the red. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And is there a number 10? No, luckily, just barely. Facebook is one of the first shares and stocks that I bought, same with PayPal and Apple. And it's what my average buying price is $170 and they are currently sitting at $170. I just have some profit because I bought it at the time when the dollar was really, really bad. And now it has grown a bit. Okay. Alibaba, again, one that I hope to see dropping very big did not happen i would love to see that 170 160 dollars then i had bought very much much for my portfolio of course i would add like another five percent of my portfolio of it and bought alibaba but that did not happen so i did not buy more all right then we have of course my bad boy paypal paypal i'm still up quite a lot in my opinion it has dropped a lot but still my average buying price is 71 dollars almost 72 you can say and they are currently sitting at 92 euros um i have seven shares of them and i'm 28 percent at a profit but still if you don't sell you don't make profit same way with losing money you don't make lose money if you don't sell guys remember that you're in this for the long term investing is not something it's quick, quick quick cash does not exist in investing choose very big companies, blue chip companies, invest in it for the passive income and let your money grow for you, for you, but over time. All right. The next position, of course, is Apple. Apple is one of those I have for almost like now, since the beginning, like I think almost two years, I think 18, 19 months. So we're getting closer to the two years of investing, but still. Okay, so I have four shares. My average buying price was $143. I'm still up 62% on Apple, so that's huge. This really saved my portfolio. And now, who's ready for the big boy? Boom, Tesla. Still, I um, did not sold anything of my portfolio. I still have my three shares of Tesla. They were sitting at $900. Now they're sitting at $550. I don't really care. I will see what will they have in 5 to 15 years. I'm curious. I don't know about you. My total portfolio, I'm currently up 600 euros. So that's around 6%. In my opinion, not bad, but still, it comes from a much nicer profit. But still, if you don't sell, you don't get. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a marvelous day. Please hit that subscribe button and let me know if you want. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. I'm gladly answering your question. Bye bye.